Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video as I give an update on where to buy micro radio control electronics for 2022. Let's get to it. Rudy, thank you for joining us for this video. Can you say hello to everybody? Hello. Thank you. So I've been building uh, smaller radio control models for, for years, and um, I enjoy doing it. I've designed some of the smaller ones. I've made Stevens um, error model kits, and I've converted eight Guilo's kits to radio control flight. And to do this, you've got to have very small, lightweight microelectronics. I used to call it the Park Zone um, Electronics. It goes by different names now. I'll put some links in the description. But the radio equipment, you have to get it, and it's been getting increasingly difficult to get. This is being filmed in December of 2021. This will be an update of how you can obtain these electronics in the next year in 2022. So this is an example of the uh, electronics. This is what I call a brick. This is where the battery connects. This little wire is the antenna. These two guys right here are linear service. We go back and forth. The motor connects up here. And in this entire electronic assembly are an electronic speed control, the two servos, and then the, the connection for the receiver. So it's all right here. The batteries are these single cell uh, LiPos that just cost uh, four or five dollars. Very convenient. And the motors are typically something like this, uh, brushed motors that's uh, geared for the slower models. This is an example of the electronics in Aguilo's Iran conversion. Again, the link will be in the description. You can see underneath I have the battery, the connection, and here is the uh, bricks. It's connected to the servo, and you can see this is for the elevator right here, and rudder all works there and the throttle. Plenty of thrust for this three ounce model to fly, but you've got to have the electronics to make this work. As I mentioned, I've been getting a lot of comments on the YouTube channel that they love these models, but people are having an increasingly difficult time getting these electronic, uh, RC electronics for these, um, for these models. And what I do for my kind of go-to place, there's a company, Stevens Aero Model. Uh, the link will be in the description. And Stevens Aero Models, based out in Colorado, they do an excellent job designing a, a wide range of radio control model kits to include many micro kits. These micro kits are specifically designed for what I call the Park Zone uh, electronics, these micro electronics. Park Zone is a little bit of a dated term right now, but that's the way it was 10 years ago because many Park Zone models use these electronics. Now DSM-2, DSM-X is a better description for the Google search, which I'll go into more detail later on. Uh, Stevens sells these micro kits. They also sell the electronics that you can buy from the website that is, goes right into these models. So why don't we take a quick look at the Stevens Zero website to give an overview and I'll show you where <clears throat> they sell the electronics and the motors uh, as well. So this is the homepage of the Stevens Aero website. We'll take a look at the laser cut kits, model airplanes. There's a range of uh, types of kits they build. The RC Micro Indoor, these planes are very well designed kits and they're designed for these ultra micro electronics. And we'll see in a minute that they, uh, Stevens Aero sells on their website. You click on it, there's more details of what you need to complete it to include a download of the construction manual. Back to the home page, we'll go to model supplies at Stevens Aero, and we will take a look first at the motors and ESCs, a uh, range of motors to include the ultra micro motors, which we need for these smaller models. And they have the motors, the geared housing, uh, the total assemblies, all that's right here. Very good source because, again, the kits are designed for these small motors. Going back to the home page, we'll take a look at the receivers and ESCs. Here are the ultra micro receivers. And this is the important point when we go there, we can see just about all of them are out of stock. And again, Steven Zero orders these for a living for their kits. They're having a hard time getting them. We'll click on this three channel. It's now been updated. 
the DSM-2, DSM-X for the spread spectrum um, transmitters, and there's detailed information on it. And what I recommend is contacting Stevens Arrow. They'll get right back to you on availability or any questions you may have with purchasing this equipment. So all these microelectronics, they come from China. We know what's been happening over the past two years with COVID and supply, uh, supply chain issues. <clears throat> also, with any hobby product, airplane, engine, electronics, it goes through product production cycles. It might be made in great quantity, be popular for a period of time. That doesn't mean it's going to be around forever. But Bill has to get these electronics in order to have his kits be able to be sold with these. <clears throat> so I wrote a note to Bill asking if he was having any trouble getting these electronics. And he, he came right back to me from Steve Azzaro. <clears throat> it says, Tim, it's indeed difficult to obtain the traditional ultra micro electronics. And um, there's some specialized stuff for some of the larger companies like Horizon Hobby. But Bill's having a, a harder and harder time getting it directly from the vendors, making sure it's up to the proper quality, uh, things that he would need for models to use it. He mentioned a few other companies I'll go through here in a second, but it's, it, it's a little bit of extra work to get this equipment. And so I share that because if Steven Zero is having trouble getting it, the, the problem is real. So let me discuss and I'll show you on the web some other sources where you can get these electronics. The first thing we'll do is go to Google because Google, in addition to having a search, there's a very increasingly robust shopping section of Google. And what I found helps search is DSM-2 or DSM-X. The reason the DSM is important, <clears throat> those are some of the uh, technical terms that Spectrum uses that describes their spread spectrum uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio technology meaning as they increase and, and develop these receivers, they're compatible with these advanced uh, 2.4 gigahertz receivers. But let's take a quick look at Google and I'll show you some sources of these microelectronics. So here is Google that we're all familiar with. We'll just type in um, ultra micro uh, RC electronics and see what we come up with. And the assumption with Google these days is you're probably going to buy something. So here are some things for shopping. Notice also four of my videos based on the subject of there, where to buy the electronics. So we click on them. We look at the pictures and see what's going on. This is a little bit interesting. This is what Google came up with. This is a 3-in-1 flight controller for the Mini AeroScout. I have this. It's a ready-to-fly airplane. Notice the larger servos. It's designed for a larger engine. Not a bad option for a little bit bigger um, RC model. We can take a look at what else they have to offer. This is what we're looking for, the um, E-Flight uh, DSM-2, DSM-X. That's it right there. So there is some available from E-Flight on this Google search. Be careful, because as we continue looking around, notice this looks good, but it's just a receiver. It doesn't have the servos or electronic speed control. It's merely a micro receiver for smaller models. So going back to the home page, we can go to shopping. Again, similar things along here, although you'll see there are some other options to get the RC Micro um, equipment. This one located here is available. And going back, there is yet another option to get the electronics. Another source for these electronics is Amazon. Again, Amazon carries a lot of stuff. You'll be getting it from an, an, a third vendor. Amazon itself doesn't sell these uh, items. But again, with those <coughs> DSM-2 search terms, we'll come up with a few examples of where you can get these products on Amazon. Amazon is worth a check. Keep in mind, Amazon has a lot of stuff on it. We'll do a previous shop that I've done. Uh, this is exactly what we're looking for. Notice only one left in, in uh, stock. So we'll go back and do a search for the DSM-2, DSM-X. Uh, the search engines seem to like that for what we're looking for. And again, some more options, but it lumps together other things with smaller receivers, uh, transmitters. But we go here, there is the Dancing Wings, which is a Chinese company that appears to have a solution uh, for the receiver that would be an option to get. And we go back. One, take a look, see what else is going on. The Spectrum, take a look at the end. Really nothing there. So go to the Spectrum, and that is what we're looking for. Again, another option to purchase. 
Another option to buy is eBay. Again, the search terms are important, but let's take a quick look at the eBay website and I'll show you where you can find these uh, re um, receiver bricks as well. eBay is always worth looking. Uh, again, we'll do the DSM-2, DSM-X search, see what we come up with. And here we have a range of the smaller receivers, but again, the ultra micro electronics right here. Notice the two ports for ailerons. That's fine. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Also, when it says U.S. Um, seller, that's helpful because you're going to get a lot quicker than if you have to wait for it to come from overseas. But again, a wide, wide range. Uh, here's another example from, um, from Buzzard Models of the... Um, electronics that would be an option for purchasing these items. Another great source to get the electronics is to harvest or take them from an existing ready-to-fly airplane. <clears throat> it's either broken or you're no longer flying. This is the E-Flight Radian uh, DM, uh, UMX um, ready-to-fly model. The electronics in here are this right here to include the motor. Now, the electronics are buried inside here. I've never even seen them. I can see some lights on when you look through the little intake. But <clears throat> if I were to not fly this someday, it was broken. If I carefully took it apart, I could get those electronics. And I did that in the past with a lot of the uh, indoor flyer micro biplanes and such. They were fragile. You'd fly them for a period of time. They just were starting to break, get heavy with repairs. You could harvest and take out the electronics from those models. So keep an eye on that for eBay, maybe people at your club, maybe in your own um, supply of model airplanes, you have some kits that are no longer flying. It's always good to, to get them from the older airplanes. That's a great source of the electronics. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Again, this is being filmed in December of 2021. So the update for 2022, you can still get these electronics. You have to shop around a little bit. Steven Zero is a great source for up-to-date information. The contact form in at the website that I demonstrated earlier, uh, Bill will get right back to you. And if you can't get them from Steven Zero, there are other sources of Google, Amazon, eBay, and existing ready-to-fly um, aircraft.